All right, guys, Peter and Sean here giving you a quick look at the Burial at Sea DLC for Bioshock Infinite. Uh, here we are looking through Booker's eyes in his office, and uh, here comes Elizabeth. But if you notice, she's a little bit different from her character in Bioshock Infinite. I mean, she seems... Is she older here? Uh, that's a good question. I don't really know. Um, you would presume so, but she doesn't really appear to be that much older. Like, mm -hmm. Infinite took place in the 20s, 30s era, but here we are in 1958. Yeah. Um, which also happens to be the date before Rapture fell, which is where we first saw Rapture in Bioshock. Okay. Well, she definitely seems to be a little bit more kind of, I would say, confident and sure of herself. Is that how you would describe her in this DLC? Yeah, she is sort of the one stringing Booker along at this point. Um, and, you know, she's kind of bringing up his past to get him to do something for her. Mm -hmm. Here we see this girl, Sally. Um, she says, Booker, I need you to find her. And he already knows who she is. But Fontaine's charity shut. No place for him. But her you know. As I said, the girl's dead. Lost. Look, I don't know where you get... Lost it. isn't dead. Name your rate, I will pay you So he's, work. you know, he's assuming that she's become one of the orphans, which if you remember in the original Bioshock, there were the little girls that you had to choose to save or to harvest. And so here we're looking at Rapture um, before the fall with the, uh, you know, the upper class people, right? Um... You know, high fashion, fine dining, all these things are in this, you know, in the, the demo I played. There's even a point where there's little white rabbits running around just to show that, you know, anything goes. We're going to make this sort of a utopia. Mm -hmm. So here, Elizabeth and Booker are descending into Fontaine's department store. He, uh, Fontaine was Andrew Ryan's uh, rival, and he was sort of, you know, rejected and ousted by Ryan before becoming Atlas. And so Fontaine's department store in this demo, or in the DLC, basically represents the old Bioshock, what you remember from the first game. So you've got this sort of dank environment, the people that are, you know, the splicers that are addicted to plasmids. I feel like this area right now is sort of like a little bit of foreshadowing of what's to come. It kind of suggests that, you know, like, when you send people off on their own to just, like, mess with plasmids all willy-nilly, this is kind of what's going to happen. Yeah, I mean, that, that is the story of the original Bioshock, and you know, these people had to fend for themselves, and genetic mutation was sort of the only way they could boost their abilities. And uh, it didn't work out so well. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, well, that's all we can show you guys today, unfortunately. But stay tuned for more coverage of Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea. And we're going to show you in the future how Bioshock and Bioshock Infinite have sort of been melded together for this one game. Well, you got a name, miss? Elizabeth. <sighs> you can call me Elizabeth. <laughs>